Hey, what's going on, family? Welcome to another thrilling episode of The Principal Thing. This is your boy, Mike Chavis, man. This is The Principal Thing. And in Proverbs chapter 4, it says that wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom and with all you're getting, get understanding. Um, just a really quick uh, video for you guys today. Uh, I was praying today. Uh, Holy Spirit urged me to pray uh, for myself this morning. And uh, I want you guys to pray this prayer for yourself uh, as, as I was led to pray for myself. Uh, Father God, help me to bring forth fruit from the seeds that you've planted in me. Okay, and that's a whole, that's a whole process right there, <laughs> which is going to involve some work for sure. But definitely uh, pray that for yourself and, and begin to understand it and repeat it. Uh, but what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is uh, later on, um, a little while later, the spirit began to share something with me uh, concerning uh, Philippians chapter three, uh, verses 12 through 15. And I encourage you guys to look that up and read it for yourself, uh, just in case uh, in my memory I misquoted. Uh, but it says, uh, not as though I was perfect, Paul speaking, saying, not as though I was perfect or uh, had obtained already uh, perfection, but seeking after to, to apprehend the thing for which I've been apprehended. We have to remember that Paul has been literally apprehended for spreading the gospel. So it's his goal that he is able to actually obtain the resurrection of Christ. Uh, and that's the reason why he's been captured is because he's been preaching the resurrection of Christ. Uh, and so he says uh, that I would apprehend the thing that I've been apprehended for, that, you know, that has apprehended me. Um, he says, but forgetting those things that are behind me and looking forward to those things that are in front of me, I press towards the mark of Christ Jesus. Uh, and he says, he goes on to say, and I'm skipping a verse here, I can't really remember it uh, right now. Uh, for some reason, I'm drawing a blank. But then in 15, I know he says that it, any of us that are uh, perfect or, you know, that are keeping uh, the customs and commandments of God, uh, let us be this minded. Let us have this mind or this way of thinking. And if in any area we don't have this way of thinking, then God will reveal even this way of thinking to us in that area. And so I just wanted to say that right now, today is the day. Today is the new day. Today is the new day. Today is the day where you literally, and I mean literally, Paul says in Romans, he says, you know, how long will he have to carry this dead man? That dead man is the man of sin, the man that's, you know, bound by the law. Uh, he says, and I want you to, and I'm saying that I want you to literally shake yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when you're about to, you know, wrestle or, you know, have a sporting event, you're about to run track or whatever, you see them shake themselves. I want you to literally shake yourself and shake that dead man off. Today is the day of forgetting about the, the missed opportunities. Today is the day of forgetting about uh, uh, the, the, the people that hurt you and, and the way that they lied on you. You know what I'm saying? Ran your name all through the dirt and, and you didn't deserve it. Uh, the times that you did deserve for because you made mistakes and people turned their backs on you and they didn't forgive you. Uh, the times that you didn't forgive. I want you to forget all that junk. Forget all of that junk that's behind you. And I want you to look forward. I want you to look forward and continue to press on and say today is the new day where you're going to press on towards the mark of the high calling. And what is the mark of the high calling of Christ Jesus? It's that we would walk down the Dia de la Rosa. The entire Christian walk is the Dia de la, Ro Dia de la Rosa. The entire, your entire Christian walk is a walk to Golgotha. To go there and die. But I want to tell you that it's not just death. You're going to get beat and be hurt by people on this earth. Walk 
your own cross to the place where you're going to die. But that's not where it ends. You're going to then go through hell. But you're going to come, you're going to go through hell with authority. See, <laughs> see, a lot of times we're going through hell like a victim. That's not the that's not the example that Christ gave us. Go through hell with authority. Yeah, you finna go through hell. And back. But go through it with authority. Go through hell with authority, snatch the keys. Now when you come out of hell, you got the keys to success. You got the keys to freedom. You got the keys to to to, to understanding sowing and reaping. When you go through hell, come out with them keys. Go through hell with authority and come out with them keys. And then you're resurrected. Paul is, when he's saying he's, he, he's going to apprehend the thing that's apprehended him, he's talking about the resurrection. You work in that job and it ain't getting you where you want to go. It's silliness. It's, it's, sim it's simplicity. How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity and fools hate knowledge? It's going to be hell walking off that job. What you finna go through after you walk off that job and decide to go work for yourself and decide to go do what God told you to do, what he planted in you to bring forth the fruit of the seeds that he planted in you, you finna go through hell. Go through it with authority. And when you're doing this, you're going to grab them keys to success. And you're going to come out resurrected with a new mind. In the way of understanding that God is your source. And a way of understanding how to how the how money works, how this world works. That's all. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna burden y'all with a lot more. But uh, I want you to remember a couple of key things. Your entire Christian walk is on the Dia de la Rosa, carrying a cross to the hill called Golgotha. Death. Go through hell with authority, grab them keys, and come out resurrected. Okay? Shake off that old man. Forget those things that are behind you and press towards the mark of the high calling of Christ. Because today is the new day. Alright? And if in any way, if in any area of thinking, this is not your mindset, let God reveal to you that mindset and how it and how that principle applies to the area of your thinking that you're not thinking that way in that you will forget the stuff that's behind you, the mistakes or missed opportunities and push towards the mark of the high calling of Christ. All right. Once again, y'all, man, this is the principal thing, man. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm serious. I need them likes. I need them sub subscriptions. Hit that notification bell. You understand me? You understands me? <laughs> All right. I want y'all to remember this, man. Usually we say what you see is what you get, but I'm telling you right now what you say is what you get. So I'm going to say this right here. It is my earnest prayer and wish that God be glorified, that the saints be fortified, and that our enemies be horrified. Y'all be blessed.